you're probably in a really dark place right now and you're wondering if you can keep going or you may feel like what's the use i can't keep living like this anymore you may be feeling all alone that no one understands you or um, you maybe you made a terrible mistake and you feel like nobody can forgive you or you could be struggling with a trauma that happened in your past and you can't seem to stop thinking about it and it's just this reoccurring thing that's really getting you down and and really making you feel like there's something wrong with you you're wondering why that person did that to you or why did you live and the other person didn't or maybe you had a really close friend that died recently or a loved one and you just can't imagine life without this person how can you keep going on maybe you lost your job maybe a really good friend that you had is no longer your friend they disowned you maybe you perhaps lost a, a relationship and your partner that you thought you would spend the rest of your life with is no longer in your life or you may feel rejected and abandoned by everybody even your family or maybe you just have a death of a dream and you had a dream that your life was going to be a certain way and something happened and your life just is not at all how you imagined it whatever situation that you're going through it's putting you in a really dark place and you're wondering if you can keep going on anymore and you know that dark thought of feeling like there is no hope and no direction no purpose in your life it's just heavy and sometimes it's just really hard just to wake up again or it's hard to go to bed and think oh, I have to go through this again tomorrow it's just unimaginable sometimes that you have to face another day or get out of bed how are you gonna get out of bed you don't feel like getting out of bed or even take a shower <laughs> You, when you're feeling this down, this low, this in this dark place, and you feel like that you just can't keep living like this anymore, the last thing that you feel like doing is taking care of yourself. And you avoid going out, you avoid going to work. Maybe you skip class at school, or maybe you just decide that, you know, I can't do it. I'm not going in to work. And you know you you may feel like you want to not be here anymore and you feel like no one really understands or cares if you're here anymore and some of the common behaviors is you want to avoid everyone and if you're feeling so down you don't want to be around other people you don't want to bring them down right and and you're thinking well i don't want to be a burden to other people and so I'm just going to stay home. And sometimes you just shut down and you're just, you just don't want to keep going. You withdraw from everybody and everyone. You isolate yourself, but yet at the same time, you don't want to be alone, but you want to be alone. And you just stop taking care of yourself. The, maybe the dishes are piling up and your house is a mess and it's just a reflection of your life. Your life is a mess, right? And you probably are not replying to messages or you don't want to. People are calling you or texting you and you're avoiding them because sometimes you just, you just don't have the hope anymore. And maybe you've been feeling this for a long time. Maybe sometimes people act like everything's great on the outside. They have a smile and they're cheery on the outside, but on the inside, they're dying. And some of the emotions that 
that you may be feeling. You might be feeling empty inside, maybe numb. Your emotions are flat. You're depressed. And nothing seems to help. Does that describe your life? Do you feel like you just can't keep going on anymore? You know, the dark thoughts that you're having are so common. In fact, you know, a lot of people that I see uh, in my practice, they're really struggling with a lot of things. And they're struggling with a lot of thoughts, these really deep, dark thoughts that they have. Things uh, like, no one would care if I wasn't here. Maybe you've thought that. Or people would be better off without you. Or I would be okay if I never woke up again. I would be okay if something happened and I got into an accident. That's okay with me. You know, these dark thoughts that you may be having, it's understandable if you're going through something really traumatic or, or something happened to you that you didn't anticipate. You didn't sign up for this. This is something that you wish would never happen in your life. And yet it happened. And when things like that in our life happen to us, it just makes it feel like we have no future. And when we give up hope and, and don't have a hope for the future, then there's no really hope for the day. Or maybe you have really are regretting something that happened in your past and you feel like, well, I ruined my life because of this decision or this, this choice I made. I ruined my life and I ruined other people's lives. And I can't see a future in my life. You know, those are really understandable thoughts. And I can't tell you how many of my clients have thought that, those very things. And millions of people are struggling with their purpose in life, their worth in life. They're, they're struggling with trying to come up with reasons to keep going. And if that's you, I want to encourage you that you are feeling this way and how you feel is legitimate, how you feel is valid. But I want to remind you to challenge the thoughts that you're having about yourself and about your situation in life. Yeah, life might suck right now. You're going through a season of suck. And you never would have signed up for what you're going through. You never would wish this on your worst enemy. And you are such in a dark place and you can't see a reason to keep going. I want to encourage you to challenge those thoughts. I want you to try some of these things. These are some of the things that I tell my clients who are really struggling with those dark thoughts. Try to, you know, this is, this is the hard part, right? Because when you lost motivation, you feel numb inside, you feel empty, and you're just like, well, what's the use? But I really want to encourage you to try these things. What else do you have to lose? So try these things. Think of 1%. 1%. What's 1% more that you can do today than you did yesterday? Is that that 1%? Maybe your 1% is getting out of bed. Maybe it's doing the dishes. Maybe it's making your bed. Maybe it's going out. Maybe it's going for a walk. Whatever the 1% in your life is today, try to do 1% more today than you did yesterday. And it's incremental changes. Nobody is going to be able to dig yourself out of the hole that you're in. It's up to you. And you can't give up hope. You have to challenge those dark thoughts that you're having and try to replace them with the things that you know to be true in your life. You have reasons to live. And sometimes those reasons to live may be the reasons why you convince yourself you shouldn't keep going. I know it sounds contradictory because 
the people that you love, you tend to convince yourself that they would be better without you. And that's false. False. Try to go for a walk today. I know. I know some days it's just hard to get out of bed. But try to go for a walk. Make yourself go for a walk. And when you go on the walk, it doesn't have to be a long time, but when you go on for a walk, be intentional with the things that you see. Look for a flower, look for something, maybe an animal or a bird, something. Look for it and really pause and pay attention to it. Be intentional on your walks. Be thankful for your walks. Tell someone how you're feeling. And I know this is, might sound impossible because when you're feeling in that dark spot, you feel like, well, I don't want to burden them. But really the truth is they want to help you. You would want them to come to you if they were struggling, right? So talk to someone, tell someone how you're feeling. You're not going to place that burden on them. They're not going to say, well, you're too much. I'm going to give up on you. No, you need to tell someone. Maybe a family member, maybe it's a friend, maybe it's a therapist, maybe it's a stranger. I don't know, it's somebody who you can talk to and share how you're feeling. You gotta get it out. Can't keep it inside, you gotta get it out. Try listening to a positive message. Maybe it's a podcast or a book on tape or YouTube and uh, search on, on uh, YouTube for mental health therapist. But surround yourself with people who are going to help you try to get out of that pit that you're in. Write down all of the reasons why you have to live. Oh, what is it that you have in your life? Who is it in your life that you have reasons to live? And really try to focus on that and the people in your life that are going to keep you going, that's going to hold you up and it's going to help be there when you feel like there is no hope. Sometimes you have to borrow the hope from someone else and you have to share that burden and be willing to share it. So I, I just, I hope this has been helpful for you to encourage you if you're in a crisis, maybe, maybe you're in a mental health crisis right now and I want to encourage you that there are places and, and, and people that you can get help for. Don't go through this alone. Call or text 988. 988, that's a crisis, 24 hour crisis number. That you can call somebody, talk to them, or text with them 24 seven. Just Google it, Google help. Right? And you'll find all kinds of numbers and, and crisis numbers to talk to. Go to a therapist. If you're not already seeing a therapist, go to your, find a therapist, go to a therapist, tell them, be honest with how you're feeling. And if you absolutely have to, call 911 or go to the ER at a hospital that's closest to you. But your life is worth living and I know sometimes it may feel like it's not. And I know sometimes you may be feeling like you're a burden to others and they would be better off without you. But I'll guarantee you that is not the truth. That's not reality. People who know you, love you, and care about you and want you to live, they want to help you get through this very dark place in your life. So don't give up. Don't give up hope. Acknowledge how you're feeling, yes, but challenge the dark thoughts that you're having. Tomorrow's a new day. You're going through a season of suck. You're going to get out of this. You have to believe that. You have to start digging yourself out of the hole that you're in and start doing little by little increments, little things to improve your life each day. Don't give up hope. Tomorrow's a new day and keep going.